Okay, I'm back to bring you an update on what I've done so far. It's Saturday uh, evening. Uh, I went back to the back and I took the uh, engine off the stand or off the the big uh, A-frame I got back there. I built me a little uh, stand to put this uh, engine on now and I'm going to move it in here out of the weather because obviously it looks like it's going to take and uh, get uh, going to be a while with this boat. I thought what turned into a simple uh, doing the transom, end up doing transom stringers and then now what I've done here is I've taken the rub rail off and uh, here it is laying on the ground. I've, uh, I've taken, uh, taken the rub rail off and uh, took out all the screws. This is going to be one of those cases that uh, I'm going to try to take the cap off this boat. And I've looked at it from here and it's one of them cases, the more I look, the worse it gets. <laughs> so I really don't know that this was in my skill level to do this, but uh, this is going to be one of those things that uh, you can see I've taken some of those off. It's not going back in the water now, so either I can keep going and either I'm taking these parts off to uh, get it fixed or taking these parts off for salvage. It doesn't matter either way. I mean, it's, uh, I am discouraged on the amount of the work the boat needs, but uh, I'll, uh, we're just going to take and uh, uh, go from there. And uh, I'll go back and refresh your memory on my uh, thing in the back here. This is my A-frame. I'm going to take and... Uh, I think I'm going to try to lift the cap off of that. I'll either lift the cap off or it'll... Uh, um, I'll end up breaking it or something. I don't know. I gotta look up and see what the, that's all made out of four by six pine there, treated pine. So I gotta uh, check on the weight restrictions on that to see what that's capable of lifting. But before I get too crazy, I'm thinking a four by six that one across the top is gonna be fine. But uh, I will look that up and I'll let you know what it says. Talk to you later. Bye. You heard the rooster, it's time to get up, work on our project here. So, here's the deal. I've got it up under, I got it under here last night. It's kind of dark, I took some video, but then it was kind of dark when I went to see it. <coughs> I've taken the engine off my A-frame and I've backed the boat up under there. I did look it up on the internet on what uh, that 4x6 beam could hold up there. If it was spanned, it's so much information to make your head hurt. If it spans five feet, it can hold like 1,800 pounds. And then the further you expand, the less it can hold. Basically, from what I understand, but you got fibers and all kinds of bends. I mean, it's, like I said, make your head hurt trying to figure it out. It looks to me like in the center on a 12-foot span on a 4x6 beam, you could lift up to roughly 1,100 pounds right in the middle before it would break. And then I see another spot that said 882. So, but that would be at the center. And then as and it drastically goes up, the shorter the beam gets. Well, I'm going to raise this with on the sides. I got some nylon belting there I laid. <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and raise the uh, drawbar up on the tractor. Tie everything tight and lower the drawbar down and see if that goes. I don't have a, a, uh, a chain hoist or anything. So, you know, this is uh, repair your boat on a budget. So, anyhow, I'm going to raise the drawbar up. I'm going to take some nylon belting. And uh, and then lower the draw bar down and see if it lifts the cap off. And then we'll go from there. Oh, one other thing I wanted to say is uh, 
I did want to do this for breakfast, you know, the hospital likes you on empty stomach, so, but I already ate breakfast, so I'm going to have to really be careful. Don't try this at home. Okay, that don't work. The nylon strap stretched too much, so I probably need to have chain. Um, back to the drawing board. Got the helm off of there. I got the camera. I'm trying to balance it so I don't uh, ain't so darn shaky. But uh, anyhow, and I'm in the process of lifting the top off. You can see I got that side. Let me come around this way. And I've got it loosened up all the way up to, almost up to there. So you can see, ooh, that's kind of bowing that a little bit. Damn it, get out of here. I have to edit that out. Okay, I've got the uh, cap ball loose. I've got it raised about four inches all the way. I just gonna go up there and see what that big gum of wires is right there and uh, get those taken care of and uh, I'll be ready to lift it the rest of the way off. Keep you posted. Okay, well, I'm getting it off there. Uh, as you can see, something caught, jerked this chain loose, dropped down some, so I've got it about half off. And uh, I really never expected to be able to take this cap off here. I actually, uh, probably on skill level of one to five wrenches, this was probably a five and I probably have a two. But anyhow, it's almost off without hitting the ground. I'll keep you posted.